Jeff, Mei Gui, and Chen from the Da Ka Show on common mistakes to avoid in your 30s. I have no friends. Okay, I don't really have time, energy, intent to go and find a hobby. He needs to go therapy, to be honest. Do you ever see yourself leaving radio? Yes. Are you still struggling in your 30s? This is your daily catch up. Boom. Good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about something pretty interesting. So, I've recruited some friends to help me out. And they are Jeff, Megui, and Chen from the Da Ka Show Yay! on Yes, 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 back shows right after their show they came out <laughs> then from Chinese switch to English now oh, so the Da Ka Show actually runs on Yes Jo San San on weekdays from 6 to 10am Facebook 那边呢 也已经在进行着我们的脸书直播啦 也可以到我们的官方脸书去哦 Facebook.com slash Yes Jo San San and they are immensely popular they've actually been nominated for best radio program for 4 years in a row now and they have everyone that's all that's not a and they've actually even had like a fan meet that they held early last year where more than 800 listeners showed up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and something very exciting just happened over the weekend for Chenning and Jeff actually because yeah. they just won Star Awards top 10 most popular. Hey. 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 And up, yeah, right? a lot of my actor friends say, "Ah, now got all the DJs coming out." Ah. <laughs> <laughs> which, which actor How do y'all feel? Which actor friend? Let <laughs> 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 drop some there. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but we welcome Romeo to our show if he would like to come. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you prepare a speech? We actually have a competition on air. Like oh. before Star Wars, mm-hmm. so uh-huh. we were peaking. Like if you had the worst, worst, worst script, script oh. like, then okay, you have okay, to okay. say that oh. on stage. So, yeah. so I lost the PK on air, so I have to repeat the same script that I said on air <laughs> on on stage. So I kind of regret it. I feel because you know this moment don't come very easy, mm. and uh, to be given one minute, you know, then you decide to screw around, and uh. then you know <laughs> you have a script that has no. Not much context because yeah, people yeah. that listen to our show will understand what I'm saying. Yeah. But if I go on national TV and yeah, say yeah. this, you know, maybe some people may not understand. No, but what, for what the, inside jokes? Yeah. For the guys, they lose out a bit also because they are when the guys award was presenting, it was yeah. almost 10 o'clock already. So everybody mm. said yeah. one sentence, right? Oh, yeah, the music yeah, yeah, played. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, that's crazy. Before they thank the mother, father, right? The music already played. I was just saying, one minute. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then the, the, the girls got quite a lot of time. Yeah. You know who I is mean, CC, right? Yeah. CC joined everybody out, CC. CC wasted a lot of time. Do you have anything you would like to say if you could redo your speech? Uh, I would like to make it a little bit more comical. And probably I would like to name drop a a few of these people that really helped me. Like Uh, uh, Dorina. I don't. Ivy, who is that? Ivy, Dorin, Ivy. Dorin is carrying the entire entertainment industry on her back. Everybody thanks Dorin. No, because if you want to put names, there'll be also too many people. Lah. It's just that mm. maybe some of these uh, heads, lah, the head of departments, are expecting to hear their names. Lah. Yeah, so yeah, He yeah. just wants to put like. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we, like, we all do what we must. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the episode, we put a credit roll for Jack. <laughs> well, I feel bad because uh, I, I I address them as bosses. So mm. I say, okay, what's mm. this? Mm. So I say something like, you know, mm. so it's, producers. Yeah, so I actually, I actually gave a very generic name la. but yeah. I saw that the panning of the camera went on to a specific person oh. <laughs> so then I didn't say the name so I feel a little bit That's bad the director thoughts, uh, really yeah. oh. it was on Jean's face oh. so Jean is uh, hmm. one of the senior producers I think a very important figure in uh, Mediacorp so okay, thank okay. you Jean if you are <laughs> listening to this Jean and Dori do you have something that... <laughs> no, like, I'm very satisfied with my speech. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a speech that may go prepare. Yeah, hey, hers hey. is very good. Yeah. Okay. Why not? It's okay. You can always do it. Yeah, people I, that she wants to I thank. I can use it next year if I still get a chance. Confirm, okay, okay, okay. confirm, confirm. Okay. confirm. Okay. When you win. If uh, I win. When, when. She's going to win next year. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> We okay, it. so, I mean, the three of you have been actually in radio for over a decade now. Mm-hmm. Huh? It's complicated for her. Oh, complicated. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I started out doing back-end stuff. So, Ooh. I mean, I've been in the industry as long as Chen mm. but I was actually a promotional executive first. What does I that see. mean? It's like a saikang. Oh. <laughs> like, you know those that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in a way, you on the radio. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. The Sorry. camera to face <laughs> today. <laughs> No, like, uh, yeah, pretty I mean, much, pretty much. I yeah. was back end mm. for, Because they help to arrange all interviews yeah. and everything. Mm. So for five years at mm. another station before I joined mm. to San San officially. How, how did you get that start? 
Wow. I was just trying to explore my job because um, being a promo, like he said, like, it's a lot of planning, mm. doing events and all. Mm. And I just wanted to expand out a little while I'm in the media industry. Mm. La. So I just thought like, hey, since I'm here, why don't I ask for a chance to be a part-time DJ? Mm. Right. So, because a part-time DJ does weekend shift. So mm. it doesn't really affect with my work. Right. So actually when I was trying to learn, I was learning under churning. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, like she was teaching me all the panel stuff, how right. things should be and such. And it was a fortunate um, time, mm. I feel, mm. that right. I managed to do a direct transfer over. So you basically go to work Monday to Sunday? La. No, la, not always. Because like part-time DJs, usually maybe in a month, we get one or two. Oh, it's like oh. a relief DJ. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So it so happens so that... So you copy the MC that kind of... I mean, if someone is not around, yes. then she, she takes over. Mm. And it so happens that I think her, her, her command of language is really good. Yeah, then Make she can go on air. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, then she starts dropping hints, you know, yeah, yeah. in front of the bosses. I didn't Actually, know. Actually, who was talking well, you know, yeah, she starts yeah, yeah. speaking. Oh, yeah, speaking. <laughs> <in the> radio <laughs> voice, <huh? laughs> and then you know, the bosses start to start to recognize and probably notice that. Hey, actually, she can become a a, a DJ. It's yeah. really not right? like. Stop no, like, <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> You are predominantly. I mean, we grew up in Singapore, so predominantly we learn our stuff in English, right? Mm. But did you always excel in Chinese? No. To this point? <laughs> yeah. yeah, my O level, I mean, like, the, the oral, I was not this distinction. I was like, just married. Just married. Just, just, just no, married. It's like oral, oral. Yeah, wait, my, when I pass my teacher, give me yeah. a high five. <laughs> They all end up deciding to join a Chinese radio station. I think Chinese is easier to fake. Uh. <laughs> yeah, like, no, like, because you only need to be able to have good enunciation. Yeah, enunciation. Which is not important in English, man. No, but English is harder. <laughs> it's harder to fake like you're good at it. Actually, for me, I've been Chinese speaking eh, since mm. young. La. Right. Yeah, I went to a Chinese secondary school. But that doesn't count for Chinese anything. Why? It's just the school I, name I, Chinese like, only. Like, uh, Hua Xiao. Oh. Mm. Chong, Chong Jing, I went to Chongqing. Mm. Our school song is in Chinese. I, see. I mean, they, they put a lot more emphasis on the Chinese culture. Like, we learn Chinese calligraphy. Oh. <laughs> we have Wen Shi Ke, like Chinese history. Oh. Things like that. No so. wonder okay, you're okay. different. Okay. Eh? No, 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 I'm not. I was from MassCom. <laughs> <laughs> My friends don't know how to write their Chinese names. <laughs> legit, legit. Yeah, are we friends? <laughs> so, we've done an episode where we have 30 year olds give advice to 20 year olds. Oh. So, here, if you notice, we have a lot of 30 year olds here. Mm. Jeff here has just turned 40, mm. even though he really doesn't look like it and he doesn't feel like it. Yeah. Mm. So kind. Based yeah. on all the lies he's been telling us so far. <laughs> so, <laughs> the white hair is intentional. Yeah, so, mm. It leads us to our topic of today, mm. which is common mistakes to avoid in your 30s, to help people through their 30s and maximize their 30s. Mm. And I think, like, on the note of speaking Chinese, right? It was actually one of the notes that I found on Reddit. Mm. So there was a comment that I found that said, please spend time with your parents. And if you still communicate in your dialect, keep practicing, especially when you have a meal with them, because it's sad to see so many youngsters not knowing their dialects. I agree. You know, I see and I hear my parents speaking to grandparents, but then I, I can't really converse very, very well with my right. grandparents. And this is something that I'm a little bit ashamed of. La, and I feel that if I know the language, it will actually help. I mean, sometimes, as a host on, on stage, mm. you know, mm. if you need to uh, also engage our senior citizens, mm. to be able to know a third or fourth, you know, dialect actually yeah. helps a lot. Mm. For the three of you, are you all living by yourself now? No. So, with your parents? Mm. <laughs> because I find mm. that like for myself with my parents, right, because I'm still living with them. So I still see them quite often when I go mm. home and then yes. that is like automatically time to spend together. Ma. But for say the two of you who have mm. moved out already, mm. that mm. time with your parents has to be a lot more intentional. And do y'all think y'all have lost that over the years as I mean as you age? My my dialect not bad, I think. Oh. But I credit my hubbing friends la, in secondary school. Dialect is in Hokkien. 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 Yeah. Hokkien. Yeah. Hokkien. Yeah. All I know is like, yeah. vulgarities. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. dialect not fair, because my dad is Hainanese. So oh. it's like, you know, the rest of the dialects actually sound a bit like Chinese. Hainanese is totally like you don't understand. Mm. I hear right, I cannot aga what the meaning is. I don't think right. I've ever heard Hainanese ever in my life. Eh. Mm. Uh, or have I and I just don't right? understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chicken, right? You just think it's Spanish. Yeah. You don't I mean, there's one dialect that's just Hokkien, but at the back, one guy, right? Huh? Kento? Oh, low mic guy. Yeah, right? no. No. <laughs> Is it actually just low mic? <laughs> My guy is Cantonese leh. I really don't know. <laughs> right? It's a dialect, right? It's, it's like not Hokkien, Chinese, just so you cannot yeah. expect the dialect. The dialect is not even on my radar because mm. like mm. Chinese, I don't even know because mm. my family growing up was already a very English speaking mm. uh, household. Mm. And then now I see, really see the problem with my in-laws. My father-in-law, he can speak English. 
So there was no problem. We fist bump every time we meet. But then my mother... We fist bump every time we meet? <laughs> do you? We do, we do. Oh, yeah, it's the thing we do. La. But my mother-in-law, she can only speak Chinese. Oh. Right. And I feel like every time I visit her, right, I want to ask her how she is, how her day is, and like right. what's going on in her life. Right? And I just stand there and... I feel like that tree was quite easy to ask. Oh, ni hao no. <laughs> yeah, ni hao Yeah, but we can't have that kind of like very deep conversation that mm. my wife has with my, my parents. And I kind yeah. of feel like a bit of a lesser in-law, like son-in-law in that way. Like me asking for her hand in marriage, right? Even mm. that, like, I tried to speak in Chinese and mm. I think it came out, like, terribly. Oh. Like, then, huh? <laughs> 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 Guys, I have to say... Guys, I have to say... That's like you marry her. She's marrying you. Yeah. Can you? Can then the father in law need to like translate. Yeah, yeah. Like, then you just need this. <laughs> <piece of pizza. laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm wondering like, am I a lost cause at this point in terms of language of like, how do I, other than, do I just go for a Chinese tuition at this You're point? You're asking for tips on how to learn Chinese. Yes, how you, do I? You should listen to Yes, Joe Sansa. <laughs> true. Yeah, I don't it's true. Time to change yeah. my radio station. It's never station. too late yeah. though. It's never. Never. Yeah, yeah. You can read more, listen more, and speak more. Actually, a lot How? of people learn it through songs. Yeah, they sing right. Chinese song. They wow, the last time I like girl, right? Then I want to learn the Zhou Jielun song, right? Then I really need to like learn by rote learning one. Yeah, like, what is rote learning? Like I, I don't know what the meaning of the song means, right? Uh, but I'm just singing. Yeah, like, just sing the first, song uh. to An Jing, mm. you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you never wow. play it for years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm like, no. so you know, yeah. what does that mean? I also don't know. <laughs> So that's the start of yeah, actually, actually learning. Good. But so, then the girl reject me, so never mind. <laughs> now that you are in your 30s, right? Like I do feel like 20s, you still have a bit of leeway in that you are finding yourself, you are still building community and all that kind of thing. But when it mm. gets to 30 years old, you kind of feel that, oh no, like maybe that play time needs to lessen. I need to really focus on building my career. Mm. And then do you all feel that there's less time for friends and family nowadays? Like suddenly some urgency. Is it comes? I mean, for thirty. For you, eh? For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> from the phone. We want to know whether it gets better. Yeah. For me, uh, yeah. When I turn thirty, the other time, uh. No, no, uh, no. Yeah. Now, now, now. That you're now, close now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, closer okay. to eighty than you are to your. <laughs> <body. laughs> for me, uh, uh, there is, there is. I really ignore. I think all the people that reach out to me. To, so, to him, all is like no friends. One, everyone mm. that's associated with him is associated with work. Mm. So once you stop the the work association, association, he mm. pretty much doesn't keep in contact. Wow. No, I'm <laughs> serious. <laughs> legit. Real. You don't make an effort to like keep mm. in con contact with true, all these true. people. True. And, when, and when you have to make a decision between work and family, <laughs> he will choose it's work. Always work. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's wow. always work. So, <laughs> really because okay, because <laughs> they really care for you. Eh? Right. Tough love, tough love, that, yeah. Yeah. You need friends like that. Anyway. No, because my work. But they're not friends. They're associated. <laughs> <laughs> no beach party for you. <laughs> you see, because my work uh, involves working on a, in the weekends. Mm. So I think friends that tries to reach out to you, hey, come celebrate somebody's birthday, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, you reject, you and reject her once, party. twice, yeah. three All times, you know, they, start, they stop calling you. So I don't have friends in, I don't have primary school friends. Secondary school friends, JC friends, uni friends, I don't have. So I all don't have. Even really? army and all this. Is no he way, a guy thing. Uh, so the because also like yeah. Yeah. yeah, my brother, my brother. <laughs> Your brother, girlfriend. Many people have that. Yeah. To be honest, I don't want to feel alone in this, but I, I think I was very much like that. Mm. Or I came to that realization maybe three or four years ago. Then mm. I tried to be more active, intentional about it. But it's not oh. like I did a lot of work, to be honest. Mm. I just told my wife oh. that I want to be more intentional. And then your about wife it. set you up. Ah, and then my wife will be like, "Don't let people invite you for dinner twice." Mm. Yeah, oh. so if someone invite really right, oh. she, she will help me remind me to Do invite them to dinner oh. next. Oh. Yeah, so she really saved my life. But if not, I, I probably have no social life. You like sometimes when when you have a choice between two, mm. you know, mm. maybe friends or work. You find uh, that you always chose work. Yeah, for the past you know ten years. Are like, you proud of yourself though? Wow, I'm in proud certain you aspects, are, knowing uh, you like that. Huh? Certain aspects of uh, of Jeff, and that's what people see lah. So when people say Jeff. Okay, they would think that okay, very successful. Mm. That's what they think. Mm. But mm. deep down, you're empty inside. Wow, that's also a very sad man. He, needs, he needs to go therapy, la, to be honest. Yeah. Have you been? No, no, no time, no time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My team also tell me every day that I need to go therapy. Yeah. <laughs> It's a common thing. No, so mm. there's actually a comment that I've had found that relates to that quite a bit. It's also a bit sad, actually. So mm. if I were to quote, most of my friends have married, disappeared, or mm. moved on to other places. Doing things on my own is cool and all, but it can get depressing. I was definitely not prepared for life to be this lonely as an adult. But he doesn't do things on his own. Like, he drag you out, is it? <laughs> um, then he will don't do, then mm. he will do work. 
Oh. Yeah, but as a DJ, what? You cannot hey. bring work home, what? Okay, because he has like a he has side hustle. Own, yeah. mm. Oh, I see. You plug it. What is it? Um, I do events. Oh, I so see, I run see. events uh, for the past, I think, 18 years. So strong, what? Yeah, so for the past 20 years, he has I always see. been waking up at 5, show 6 to 10, you know, after that I go to my office and then uh, continue work until about 10 o'clock at night, mm. then I sleep about 12, 1 o'clock, I wake wow. up again at 5, right. and then Saturday, Sundays, it's just events. Wow. Hosting, managing events, fly around the world to do events. Fly around right. the world? Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, my life has always been like that. For the rest of you, right, is this something mm. that you are concerned about in your 30s as well? The feeling of like your friends moving on and maybe whether or not you're left behind. <laughs> as compared to him, I'm really not career-minded. I'm not thinking about anything further than like, Two years later, even one year later. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. So I've come to realize is in my thirties as well that there's no point thinking so far ahead. Yeah. So everything changed anyway. Exactly. You're just setting yourself goals that you'll disappoint yourself for. Mm. Not not so sad lah, but yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's possible. I mean for business also last uh. time, because when we have investors and stuff like that, people mm. ask us oh, a five five, ten year plan. And then mm. I asked myself, what was my plan when we started this business? Mm. And then what was the plan at the end of that business? Every year it's we Shaking. didn't follow the plan, but mm. did we do better? We did, ma. You know, mm. but why is that plan? Nah? We don't know. So it's mm. a paper, paper you wasted time on. I do feel like the work life balance is the biggest challenge of my 30s so far. Mm. And especially since I've gotten married and moved out into mm. my own house. Mm. And then I always see it as this problem that I cannot solve. It's, you work from, say, nine to six, and then you go home, you spend some time with your wife. I think that everyone should have some me time. Mm. And then this isn't even including friends and I kind of feel like I've been in this rut for very long. Like, long. For me, I, f I feel I have a good balance. Mm. I see with my parents and I, I spend mm. sufficient time with my friends and I feel for my family, it's very close-knit. Like, we try to make it a, a tradition that every Sunday night is a family dinner night. Mm. Because for now, my, my eldest brother actually moved out. Mm. So he seldom comes back. But every Sunday is quite a fixed like whatever mm -hmm. you have you try to avoid Sunday night mm -hmm. and then we will always go out for dinner mm -hmm. la. maybe because of our job as well yes. we have more flexible time yes. mm -hmm. yeah but yeah. of course if you, if you do less then you earn <laughs> less la. there mm -hmm. are some DJs or personalities they really uh, you know fill up their schedule back to back but mm -hmm. maybe then they, they will have no time for the loved ones but you can intentionally make time like she made time for family mm -hmm. every Sunday night mm -hmm. yeah so mm. Sunday night, if there's a if, if there's a job, oh, I will try Cancel not to it, take yeah. it one. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Right. So I think that's how we, we try to keep it going, mm. to share more, to know a lot more about each other and such. Mm. Oh. Another thing that I kind of feel like in my 30s, once this whole life has kind of started moving autopilot, right, is my own passions. Back when I was 20, maybe, like my dream was to be a musician. Mm. And then I would like... You know, schooling, you get to kind of learn guitar, you can mm. like dedicate some time. But now it just feels like if it doesn't produce anything tangible, right? Like you cannot make money out of this. La, and then like you're going to take away time from other things that you can do, then give up. So you know, sad. But you can literally make money out of this. Right? You just, like, no, like, it just feels up. like it's such an uphill battle. Like, yeah. Now yeah. you consider all the right. ROI. No, like, yeah, no, it's all yeah. about the ROI. Now, even you, now you suck and I think you make more money than if you're good. Because there's many talented people. <laughs> but there are not many shameless people. <laughs> it's a suck lip yeah, yeah, so you just yeah, go and okay, suck. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just make it like, funny. Go out with you and everyone like, oh, okay. you, they draw your rose. You can try. No, so I think the topic of hobbies is quite interesting for people in their 30s as well. Because, so the quote that I found is, find time for your hobbies, shopping and Netflix do not count. Oh. Wow. So, because a lot of people, I mean, they work, they go home, what do they do? They just mm. watch Netflix while eating. Mm. Or if not, they are online shopping. Or weekend, they just go out shopping. Mm. Right. Yeah, so, aside mm. from that, right, do you all actually have hobbies? I agree, because I try to pick up like a new skill every year. Ooh, wow. what's I the latest do like one? pottery, pottery. Uh, tennis. Pottery, like, pottery is damn hard, right? Yeah. I love it. Oh, is it not so difficult? I love it. It looks so easy. It's uh. like your own, your me time. Right. Yeah, you really like, you know, not distracted. So, you go anything. to a pottery shop alone to do um, I took some classes and then now I can like do it on my own. Yeah, they got but you go alone because you say me time? Yeah. Oh, wow. Why? What's the problem? No, I just... I'm just like, <laughs> wait, 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 are you, are you those kind of like when you watch a movie with a friend, you all must start at the same time, yeah. time like on the plane? No, oh, no, no. Okay. But, <laughs> I'm those kind of... <laughs> I'm not that I won't go into a cinema myself. Yeah, I, I, know. Know. I also. Yeah. I, it took me a long time to even go in there to eat lunch. Eh. Last time I part time. Toilet can not. Toilet Because for myself, I've also not watched a movie alone. Yeah, like if we we supposed to go for a movie at mm. two o'clock, right? Then yeah. I'm there. You tell me last minute you cannot because you do cancel on people, right? Then you won't go in, right? 
serious. That's the same topic that we had on air. Yeah, but... Oh, you really are the Jeff of our work. How about the rest of you? Okay. I do singing. Okay. Oh. I still try to write. Lah. I mean... Oh. She got to that stage. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like you also. Like, hey, yeah. do, should I? Is there an ROI of it? But I still feel like I want to do it. Lah. 30s, mm. you should still learn as many hobbies. things as mm. you, you want to. Do. It's weird for me because both of you will definitely find ROI in it. <laughs> You are both on a platform with thousands or millions of people. Listen. Exactly. So but you only play guitar on the latest. No, like, you can figure out the <laughs> style. <laughs> 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 no last watch episode. Wait, 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 no, you have to play your own right? <laughs> <laughs> You can take your own Instagram, but it's <laughs> <laughs> going so I feel like it, it took time, uh, but like I only launched my first original song like mm. oh, two oh, years are, back. Uh. You are so much further than I am. <laughs> <laughs> this year, I also launched an MV. What? Oh, she took one year, the same song. Oh, that song. <laughs> same song. <laughs> so much further. This is the lyrics. Then she don't acoustic. Like 1026, acoustic version. It took very long because you just can't find time to fully focus mm. doing yeah. it. Yeah. But I just feel like you still have to do it. So, because if you don't do it, then you will never do it. My therapist actually told me that. Yeah, yeah. so I feel a like... He's yeah. further along than you in that regard. So I feel like I would still want to launch another song. That mm. kind of thing. I feel like you have now have the momentum. Because like you have a song yeah. out. You say like this, you know what? This is possible. And we're going to pressure, pressure you. Because yeah. if next year you drop acoustic, I'm going to call you out. <laughs> <laughs> Because you already done it once, ma, so you actually yeah. know the whole process. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Also, there's a bar. Yeah. So because structured. I feel like lo- releasing your first song, you, you don't know what it's good. Like to you, you think it's good. Then when mm. other people hear it, you still cringe, even though you think it's good. You know that kind of stuff. Mm. But now you just need to beat the previous song. Which is very hard also. Oh. Ma, yeah, because of yeah, the song. Yeah. 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 It's damn good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, not damn good. I already liked that. The song is in the description box. Hey! You're a campus superstar? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. even know what competition? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> it's a Chinese competition. Yeah. 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 No, the, She's the, the champion. Is English, so She's the, the first She's batch. Oh. Wow. Yeah. OG, OG. The yeah. winner was like some really short boy from Loyang Primary School, right? No, la, that's, Loyang the batch. Batch. that's the second that's batch. Short top, short top. You won't actually give But she recently won the S-Pop. S-Pop, another competition. It's also a nationwide competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Champion. Very talented. When you say recently, Thank you very much. in the past two, three years? Mm. Kobe, Kobe, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Wow, you are like a skills future ambassador. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like many people in their 30s, especially when mm. you have accomplished career and you're public facing, mm. it's not easy for them to then put themselves out there in a competition mm. where they may not mm. win. Ma. You're so right, yeah. But... No, no regrets, eh? Mm. Yeah, no regrets. Because you win, ma. No, nah. no. <laughs> no. You win it, ma. So <laughs> I feel it's not the end point. Yeah. The entire process was so enjoyable. I think mm. I made a lot of friends mm. who are here to stay. Like, hey, so Jeff need to join singing competitions. Right. <laughs> it, it really opened up new doors for me, lah. I feel in musically, lah. Mm. Like, right. I know more people. Mm. I feel more equipped now. So like, this is the skills future ambassador. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, <laughs> right. Like your hey, shoot. Talking about skills future. So during COVID, I actually learned some. I learned sewing. Eh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took on the class. Wait, skills future teach sewing. No, can you, you can online, use it online, for different. Yeah. Yeah. Online, right, online class. Online. It's online class. Mm. So they even deliver huh? the sewing machine to your house. You have Whoa. a sewing lesson. You learn how to. I sew my own two piece. Whoa. Two piece is what? One piece. Let's <laughs> Two uh, piece. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Two piece of one piece. Men always two piece. For you, eh, you think? No hobby, eh? No. Oh, because just now you say Netflix not counted squash already. La, squash la. You no la, oh, I don't, squash. don't have any. <laughs> okay, to me, it's not really a hobby la, But if people tell me that okay, you need to exercise, then the only thing that <laughs> I feel worth doing is playing a sport la. I don't like to run without. I uh, a purpose, a, or a like game, or a sport, yeah, yeah, or, or a yeah. competition in mind, lah. Oh, you really you? Eh. Right. You have to, you have to. Well, look, you should make like friends, lah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
the in fact the intent to go and find a hobby la. and also See. because nobody asked me to do it la. so if let's say people ask me to go do something I may if you got time no la, but that's not a hobby la. A hobby must come from within really man yeah. really yeah. man I mean yeah. if somebody says that okay let's try to learn golf together I, I, I may go for one or two yeah. don't lie sessions. one or two hobby <laughs> <laughs> no, like you got hobby. Potential, then maybe we'll yeah. play yeah. then yeah. it's not fun then we just at least we try yeah. don't yeah. 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 no relate valid Whatever John says, yeah. I guess. <laughs> so, is there any exciting things that you are planning to do within the next one or two years that you can share with our audiences? I feel like in the next one or two years, I want to have more songs. How many? Wow, I don't put the pressure. Like that. That's got the smart goals. Okay, at least for this year, I really, really want to have one more song. If I can, I read then EP. one more song, like yeah. two, two songs, two songs, two songs this year. Yeah. But that's yes, not like, more months. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> another thing that I really want to do is to get my own housing. Ah. Mm, I feel that's something I want to put uh, my heart to 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 do lah. You want to move out or you want to get investment property? I want to move out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can help you that. But it comes with. <laughs> no, solo like. Should meet my friend. No, <laughs> move out. <laughs> not agent, get, not agent. get my get a space of my own lah. Right. I feel. Mm. Yeah. How about for and Jeff? Wow. Hey, don't have, don't have one. No pressure. I also don't have. Mm. Mm. I don't Not have. really. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Uh, I want to move to a to a bigger office. Oh, mm. okay, like okay. what I see here. I have a lot of satisfaction when I see my team grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a boss, right? So you know, first you fight for sales, you fight for clients, and then the second step is you know when everything is a little bit more stable, you want to see your team, people in their twenties, people that join your company. You know, they grow and they mm. learn and they feel good. Um, in the company. So for me, right right now, I think I'm concentrating a lot of my effort in developing mm. maybe new talents or, or giving them a very good environment mm. so that we can we can excel in different uh, parts yeah. of as our you, business. As you build up like your own businesses and all that, right? do you ever see yourself leaving radio? Yes. Really? Hey, faster before it's too late. I can't achieve it. <laughs> no, so, but this question has been yeah. o- always in oh, my no, head, right. ma, because you know, the only thing is keeping me going for my business is I see this group of people that I have responsibility for. Somehow, even during COVID, you know, when we have no events, there are people who, who stick with the company. So I feel mm. that I have a responsibility to to take care of them. Take care of them. So the other part of You're me- He's like listening to myself. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard this before. <laughs> I mean, the other part of me is radio. Lah. I think radio changed my life. I didn't thought that I want to do radio. So it's something that I will hope to give back also. Something that people can remember. Yeah, leaving from, your mark you know, in the industry. Maybe the show, maybe myself. Do you think you come into peace with your regrets now? Because just now you were talking about like mm. how maybe I should spend more time with like friends and family maybe. And now it seems like even all your plans seem to be you see? all on the then I f- currently. Then like. I forget about all the things that I'm supposed to yeah, so worry it, about really. So is it a acceptance of like- This that's is just me. It, 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 just me the way. <laughs> <laughs> it just be the way they are, like, you know? No, maybe you, you don't regret, you know? Maybe you regret only because someone told you that it's supposed to be like that. You know, and you are leaving yourself to an unrealistic goal that you <laughs> you don't want. Like my wife also forced me to go and like hang out with my friends. Like you always hey, reject them and all that stuff, right? Uh, and I mean, I, I do. I have a good time when I'm there. But if you ask me, I got a free Sunday. What do I do, right? My wife is like, oh my god, we got a free Sunday. So in the morning we go and do this. Then after that, let's uh, let's go have lunch there, and then let's invite people to come to my house play mahjong. So it's like, no, but we have a free Sunday. Eh. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> you pack it up? <laughs> we have a free side. Let's be home mm. and enjoy our home, you know? Mm. Yeah, so, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe your regrets aren't your regrets. They are other people's regrets for you. Oh, no, I'm, pre- peace, yeah. I'm predicting that I will regret. Now ah, oh, you see, it's, it's not worse. <laughs> Why? Fine. <laughs> like, you can see the future, but like, ah, never mind. <laughs> Just keep driving the road, we're down. So the friend and family part is never gonna <laughs> come, right, somehow. It shouldn't lah. I mean, huh? it shouldn't be this way. What I'm saying it is it shouldn't oh, be this okay, way. Okay, okay. It shouldn't be this way because I feel that... But it's really not in your plan. It's kind of sad. They do be. like concern yeah. about yeah. 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 You're surrounded by Because he always sigh. Oh. Then he'll say, I have no friends. Or I, oh. you know? Then you'll take the hint or you'll never take the hint? <laughs> Maybe something major has to happen. Oh. Which is why <laughs> which is why I'm scared. You see, I'm scared. You could get what you want. Someone's like, 
checker, full body checker. Update you in. The checker knows <laughs> everyone is the result. <laughs> Maybe we should meet in the Actually, clinic. Yeah. <laughs> like, you should give you as your birthday present this year. Yeah, yeah, I'll trip it. No, you, you should make it part of the show, then you just open your result on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. content, my bro, for career. Yeah, yeah. For, for career, for career. Leave your mark for career. It's the last show, man. <laughs> but the doctor said cannot, we must do it in my room, then you're planning. <laughs> Radio can move on to the <laughs> can live broadcast. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so I have a different question for you, right? Since you have you don't know what's next mm. for the for the year, right? Like listening to especially Jeff, which is you're quite contrasting in personality. <laughs> how would you think you want to leave your forties? I really think that at the end of the day, the most important thing is really your family and friends. I really truly feel that way. Yeah, I've always like focused on that, and that's why work. Not that I don't put 100% in my work, but I just feel like work should only take up my life. 100% of working hours. Huh? <laughs> work only takes up 100% of your working hours yes, and not more. Yes, correct. <laughs> and it shouldn't be like more than half of my life. Mm. My life should be like work and life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work is not life. It's mm. just, mm. yeah. Was there something Why? that... <laughs> I just see that. Uh, was there I something feel, that happened uh, that taught you that? Okay, when I was 25 years old, I think I was very disappointed by one of my bosses. La. Dorina. Okay, no okay, I think from 20 to 25, because I started very young, I was very chong. Everything I said, yes. Yeah. Everything I would do. But then I realized that at the end of the day, I am like replaceable. And then like one day, you will, you're just not as important anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So why are you giving so much to all these people? Mm. When you should be focusing to me, la, to me, yeah. When I should be focusing on things and people that are hundred percent to me. Mm. That's my family and friends will never leave me, and I'm very. But sure that's not that. true, though. You know that. I, <laughs> for now, I'm very sure, la. Mm. Yeah, because they are my family and friends, ma. Mm. You see, because I think sometimes we play up ourselves too much that we think we are, we are, we are very important. Yeah. I agree. Like for example, I feel like every morning I go on a show, I bring entertainment to a lot of people. That means if I'm not there. I won't be able to change the lives of these mm. 10,000 people. Their morning will suck. Yeah. You see, that's a very self So that's why you see, so, so, so the, the thing is, we should stop thinking that we're very important. Like you were yeah. saying, okay, we are very, actually, we are very dis dispensable. Yeah, I need to be there for, for radio. I need to be there for TV, you know. So we thought that all these things are more sacred, you know, more mm. important. Mm. But it's not lah. <laughs> no, yeah, I respect it's your, your decision. It's not lah. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, so that's why. <laughs> respect your decision, but that won't be my decision. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Nice. Okay. What okay. varied responses. Mm. I feel like I relate to everybody, every, all their answers. <laughs> but Jared the most. <laughs> Jared the most. <laughs> no, I don't relate to Jared. I just, I see a reflection and I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so we've come to the end of today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed your time here with us. And of course, so thank far. you, the Daka Shu, for joining us. Yes. Oh. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments down below as well. And of course, don't forget to catch them on Yes, Joe Sun Sun on weekdays from 6 to 10 a.m. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, I promise I'll listen to Joe Sun Sun now on my morning drive. <laughs> I can't. You choose what time? 6 a.m. Y'all keep your funny jokes at 8 plus. Once you hit a different number, you know, like 30, 40, I think you start to have a different mindset. I would think about things that I really want to do that I've never done before. La. I've always said on air as a joke, that means I've never, huh? <laughs> that I've never ever attended a beach party. A beach party? Oh, in my life. easily settled. Right, right. So, but he has so, no one to go with. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's really settled there.